NASA's Juno spacecraft has captured the most breathtaking and detailed images of Jupiter ever seen. Before Juno, only eight spacecraft had ventured close to the king of planets. But unlike most of them, Juno doesn't just fly by. It dives in, skimming closer to Jupiter than ever before. It brings us the closest look at the glowing auroras that dance around its poles. The great red spot, which is larger than Earth, cloud formations that look like works of art, and much more. Stay with me to see the closest, most stunning images of Jupiter ever captured. On July 4th, 2016, after a five-year journey spanning 1.7 billion miles, NASA's Juno spacecraft finally arrived at Jupiter. To study the planet safely, Juno entered a polar orbit, meaning it is passing over Jupiter's north and south poles. Once in orbit, Juno faced an immense challenge. Jupiter is surrounded by radiation powerful enough to destroy most spacecraft within minutes. To minimize damage, Juno flies in an elliptical polar orbit that minimizes time spent in the most dangerous regions. During each orbit, Juno dives close to Jupiter's cloud tops for brief but critical observations before retreating far from the radiation to limit cumulative damage. At its closest approach, Juno skims just 4,200 kilometers, or 2,600 miles, above Jupiter's cloud tops, capturing high-resolution data like never before. However, with each orbit, Juno inches closer to Jupiter's intense radiation belts. Over time, this relentless exposure will degrade the spacecraft's systems. Eventually, Juno's mission will come to an end as it plunges into Jupiter's atmosphere, burning up during its descent. This deliberate end-of-mission maneuver is designed to prevent any contamination of Jupiter's moons, especially Europa, a world that may harbor conditions suitable for life. For now, however, Juno continues to operate remarkably well and is expected to remain active until at least late 2025. One of Jupiter's main features are the alternating light and dark bands, aligned parallel to the equator. These are known as belts and zones. The darker belts consist of warmer air sinking deeper into the planet, while the lighter zones contain cooler air rising upwards. And remember, a day on Jupiter lasts just about 10 hours, making it the fastest rotating planet in the solar system. This rapid rotation generates powerful jet streams in its atmosphere, dividing it into bands with varying wind speeds and directions, which create the planet's iconic stripes. These winds can reach speeds of up to 500 kilometers per hour. The distinct colors of the belts and zones result from differences in their chemical composition and temperature. While their appearance can change over time, shifting in color, width, and activity, with some even temporarily vanishing, the belts and zones have endured for hundreds of years. As you can notice, measuring a day on Jupiter isn't straightforward, as the planet isn't solid, and its cloud layers rotate at different speeds. Instead, scientists use the stable rotation of Jupiter's magnetic field to determine its day length. Let's take a closer look into one of Jupiter's mesmerizing cloudscapes. What we're seeing is the result of powerful jet streams colliding with chaotic storm systems. These twisting wave-like patterns are made up of ammonia and water clouds floating in Jupiter's hydrogen-rich skies. In this breathtaking view of Jupiter, we can see the cloud layers in varying colors and textures, which indicate different materials and temperatures within Jupiter's atmosphere. Jupiter is home to countless storms and vortices, appearing as white ovals, brown spots, or chaotic whirlpools. Many of these storms form at the boundaries where atmospheric bands meet, creating eddies and cyclones that can persist for years. The immense power of Jupiter's storms is fueled by the planet's internal heat and turbulent weather systems. Unlike Earth, where most weather is driven by the sun, Jupiter radiates more heat than it receives, generating intense convection currents in its atmosphere. Warm gases rise from the planet's depths, cool at higher altitudes, and then sink back down, driving the dramatic weather patterns we observe. Jupiter's rapid rotation intensifies these effects, stretching storms into elongated, swirling vortices. With no solid surface to break their momentum, these storms can endure for decades, or even centuries. Jupiter's most iconic storm is the Great Red Spot, or GRS, a vast anticyclonic vortex 
meaning winds here rotate counterclockwise. First observed over 350 years ago, the GRS is truly a behemoth, while Earth's largest storms typically span 500 to 2,000 kilometers in diameter. The GRS is so vast it could fit Earth inside it. Currently, it measures about 16,000 kilometers, or 10,000 miles, across. In its prime during the 19th century, the storm was even larger, spanning over 40,000 kilometers, or 25,000 miles, large enough to fit three Earths within it. However, the spot has been shrinking in recent decades. Today, it is about half the size it was 150 years ago, but it remains stable and powerful. Its longevity is remarkable. On Earth, storms typically last days or weeks because friction with the surface or atmosphere dissipates their energy. On Jupiter, there is no solid surface to slow the storm. Besides, it is 10 times larger and rotates more than twice as fast as the Earth, which dramatically amplifies the Coriolis effect, sustaining the storm. These factors allow the GRS to persist for centuries. Despite its age, the storm is dynamic, with winds reaching speeds of up to 432 kilometers per hour. Interestingly, the center of the storm is relatively calm, much like the eye of a hurricane on Earth. The distinctive reddish color of the Great Red Spot has long puzzled scientists. One leading theory suggests that the red hue comes from chemical reactions in Jupiter's upper atmosphere, as ultraviolet radiation from the sun interacts with compounds like ammonia and acetylene. It may produce reddish or brownish compounds known as chromophores. However, the exact mechanism is still unknown, and the storm's color can vary over time, sometimes appearing more orange or even pale. The GRS is not just a surface-level feature. Observations suggest that the storm extends hundreds of kilometers into Jupiter's atmosphere, making it a deep-rooted system. This vertical structure likely allows the storm to tap into energy from the surrounding atmosphere, helping to sustain its immense power over the centuries. The Great Red Spot's gradual reduction in size is a big mystery. The reasons for this shrinkage are not fully understood. This stunning image showcases magnificent vortices and turbulent flow patterns. The elongated, swirling feature seen here is an oval vortex. The swirling layers of beige, gray, and blue tones represent differences in altitude, chemical composition, and temperature within Jupiter's upper atmosphere. Scattered within and around the vortices are bright white, slightly elevated features known as pop-up clouds. These clouds form when warm gases rise rapidly from deep within Jupiter's atmosphere, cooling and condensing into bright formations of ammonia or other compounds. This vertical motion leads to sudden localized bursts of cloud activity, often seen near large storms or jet stream boundaries, and can act as precursors to lightning. As they rise, ammonia water mixtures freeze and interact with other particles in the upper atmosphere. These interactions, coupled with the chaotic collisions of ice and other materials in Jupiter's powerful updrafts and downdrafts, generate charge separation. This sets the stage for dramatic lightning strikes. This image shows a swirling vortex in Jupiter's atmosphere with an incredible lightning strike, which is the bright green flash you can see here. Jupiter's lightning is incredibly powerful, with some flashes 10 times stronger than those on Earth. Unlike Earth, where most lightning occurs in equatorial regions, Jupiter's lightning is concentrated near its poles. This unusual distribution is likely due to the planet's unique heat circulation patterns and the way energy is distributed across its atmosphere. On Jupiter, lightning appears as bright flashes. Unlike the yellowish hue of Earth's lightning, which results from our oxygen-rich atmosphere, Jupiter's lightning likely has a bluish or whitish glow due to its hydrogen-dominated atmosphere. Juno has also observed mush balls, slushy hailstones composed of water and ammonia, that are thought to play a role in the generation of lightning, acting as catalysts within Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere. As we shift our focus to Jupiter's poles, a striking change in coloration becomes apparent. The poles exhibit a distinctly bluer hue compared to the rest of the planet. This coloration results from differences in atmospheric composition, sunlight scattering, and unique cloud dynamics at these high latitudes. 
Unlike the banded structure of Jupiter's equator, the poles are dominated by clusters of massive cyclones and anticyclones, forming tightly packed, swirling storm systems. These patterns resemble giant, interconnected vortices. At the North Pole, a central cyclone is encircled by eight cyclones, arranged in a remarkable octagonal pattern. Meanwhile, at the South Pole, a central cyclone is surrounded by five cyclones forming a pentagonal configuration. Each of these polar cyclones is immense, with diameters ranging from 2,400 to 4,500 kilometers, or 1,500 to 2,800 miles, large enough to cover significant portions of Earth. Jupiter's polar vortices have persisted for years, as observed since Juno's arrival in 2016. Unlike the Great Red Spot, the polar vortices are cyclonic, meaning they rotate in the same direction as the planet's rotation. Despite being tightly packed, the cyclones do not merge, a phenomenon that suggests strong repulsive forces or stability mechanisms keeping them distinct. Observations in infrared light show that these storms extend deep into Jupiter's atmosphere, possibly for several hundred kilometers. Two major mysteries surround these polar vortices. The first is their strikingly regular polygonal arrangements, such as the octagonal and pentagonal patterns observed at the poles. The second is their remarkable longevity. While some models provide insights into their stability, the precise mechanisms enabling these storms to endure for years remain unknown. While cyclonic storms dominate Jupiter's lower atmosphere, its upper layers are illuminated by breathtaking auroras, the brightest in the solar system. These dazzling light displays are driven by processes that extend far beyond Jupiter itself, involving interactions between its powerful magnetic field, charged particles from the Sun, and material from its volcanic moon, Io. At the core of Jupiter's auroras lies its magnetosphere, the largest and strongest in the solar system. This immense magnetic field captures charged particles, electrons and ions, which are accelerated to high speeds as they spiral along magnetic field lines toward the planet's poles. When these particles collide with molecules in Jupiter's upper atmosphere, they release energy in the form of light, producing the stunning auroras. Unlike Earth's auroras, which are primarily driven by interactions with the solar wind, Jupiter's auroras are significantly influenced by its moons, particularly Io. Io's intense volcanic activity ejects enormous amounts of sulfur and oxygen ions into Jupiter's magnetosphere. These ions create unique auroral features, such as bright, glowing footprints that align directly with Io's orbit. Jupiter's auroras shine across a broad spectrum of light, from ultraviolet to infrared, with X-ray auroras adding an extra layer of intrigue. These X-ray pulses are tied to bursts of high-energy particles within Jupiter's magnetosphere, creating powerful flashes that pulsate at regular intervals. Meanwhile, ultraviolet emissions reveal dynamic and ever-shifting patterns, often forming swirling ovals around the planet's poles. One of the most striking aspects of Jupiter's auroras is their immense size and intensity. They are hundreds of times more powerful than Earth's auroras, spanning thousands of kilometers. Unlike Earth's fleeting displays, Jupiter's auroras glow continuously, sustained by the planet's rapid rotation and the constant supply of charged particles from its volcanic moon, Io. Jupiter's storms have outlived entire civilizations. Its auroras outshine anything we can imagine on Earth, and its great red spot, though shrinking, still defies explanation after 350 years. Juno's discoveries are shedding light on the powerful forces that shape the planet's atmosphere. The more we learn about Jupiter, the more it challenges us. How do its storms sustain for centuries without rest? Why do its poles defy symmetry with their eerie, perfectly arranged cyclones? Even as we get answers, new questions emerge, reminding us that science is less about wrapping things up and more about staying curious. As Juno continues its mission, it will explore more of Jupiter's secrets, including its mysterious moons like Ganymede, Europa, and Io. These future studies could help us learn more about the planet and even the possibility of life on its icy moons. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to Lucid Space, and press the notification bell so you never miss new videos. 
Thank you for watching and see you next time.